Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learn you some filmmaking and learn you good. And that's right, we're back already. That's the third episode of Film Learning this week. You guys were so keen for that Avengers Infinity War title template, I thought, let's just do it and get it out of the way. Now I do have to say, this thing was not easy to put together. In fact, it has taken me weeks and weeks to build this thing. Not the modeling itself, just the actual texturing, because there's a lot going on here. Now I'll just forewarn you guys, this thing does take a long time to render. So what I've also done is included the raw Cinema 4D file in the pack that has no textures. So if you do have a PC that does run a bit slower, you can just slap whatever textures you want on this thing and you'll still be good to go. So of course, in order to complete this title template, you need to go to filmlearning.com slash download and download the title template. I mean, that's a given. And once you've done that, let's get to work, shall we? Okay guys, we're starting off in After Effects today. I know, crazy, right? I just thought we could go through what's in the template really quick before we move on how to customize the lettering. So first off, we have our widescreen bars up the top. Now, whether you wanna use these or not, totally up to you. If you don't wanna use them, just turn them off like that. We've also got our animated Marvel logo. Once again, if you don't want it, turn it off. Then of course we have a bunch of flare files that I've rendered out for you folks without optical flares. We then have our main logo comp which we're going to be customizing and following that we have our Avengers logo and that ring thing behind it that makes up the logo. I've rendered out the logo and ring separate from the text itself because basically they took hours to render out on their own and I wouldn't wish those render times on anyone. So if we open up that logo comp you can see that I have a placeholder Photoshop sequence just so I could show you what the end result looks like. So let's turn that off so we're left with just a Cinema 4D file. There we go. Now, here's how we can customize this logo. Let's head over to the project window, find our Cinema 4D file, select it, and then we'll head to edit and click edit original and jump into Cinema 4D. So now that we're in cinema, let's check out a quick preview. As you can see, the logo starts out pitch black, then we have a bunch of lights illuminating it slowly, and then we have a big old light sweep that goes through, giving the text that flare glint across it. I've also animated the opacity of our Infinity Ward text down here, but on preview in cinema, you'll just kind of see it just go and pop in. But don't mind that, it does work fine once it's rendered out, it's just one of those Cinema 4D quirks. Now in order to edit this, it's pretty easy. Let's collapse down the hierarchy up here for the Avengers text, and as you can see, we have six different assets to work with. Basically, I had to layer this text three times to get the look I wanted so the A is left separate to the rest of the letters. Now unfortunately, if you do want to put something else other than A here, you are going to have to delete that and just type it in with the text below. And why is that? Because I actually didn't like the A that came with this font, so I grabbed a spline and I actually drew the A from scratch. So once again, if you don't want the A, just delete it and then we'll head down to the text file and customize that. So to customize this text is pretty easy. You've just got to collapse down all three of those extrudes and then we've just got to click on the text file and then down below, we've just got to type in a new text one, two, and three times. That way it'll auto update and then we're good to go. Now, the Infinity War text is a little easier. It only has one level. So you can easily just go in there like so and change it to read whatever you like. Just remember, that after all your customization, you have to head to File and hit Save for any changes to take place and update in After Effects. And if we head back to After Effects, you can see it's updated. Cool, huh? We can then set our renderer in our logo comp up here to Standard Final, and then wait forever for it to preview. Because like I said, this thing takes a long time to render, gang. But that, my friends, is our Avengers Infinity War title template done. Add up all those steps and you get something like this. So guys, that's my take on the Avengers Infinity War title template. I know it's not 100% screen accurate, but it does look pretty cool and I gave it my best shot. But for the third time this week, that is my time guys. If you did enjoy this video, please smash that like button. I really do appreciate it. And if you are new here, hit that subscribe button. And if you are subscribed, make sure you turn those notifications on so you don't miss a single film learning episode. We've got another two episodes right here. We've got a playlist up here. If you do have a request, throw it down in the comment section or on my social media up above. And until I see you again, keep learning.